Hey everyone, this is Mr. Kazi and today we're going to talk about unit analysis. The importance of unit analysis in chemistry is not so much that we learn how to work with the units, but more that we start developing a way of thinking that will help us later when we're talking about molecules, atoms, and moles and the subatomic world. So jump in, learn the thinking here, learn how to do unit analysis, and it's going to make your problem so much easier later. Unit analysis is using the units to set up your solution. If you set up your solution with these units, you're going to find that you're going to have a great problem, easy to solve, and uh, everything will work out just right. So when adding the units, the units must match. What do we mean by that? We mean like terms. Remember in algebra when you had like terms? X's have to be added with X's, Y's have to be added with Y's, AB's have to be added with AB's. Everything has to be like terms. Let's look at an example. Like terms. Milliliters to milliliters. Liters to liters. Grams to grams. That's what we mean. When multiplying, the units are multiplied just like variables or numbers. Let's look at an example. Meters times meters is meters squared. You just add the exponents. Works every time. When dividing, the units are divided just like variables or numbers. Let's look at an example. 12 centimeters squared divided by 3 centimeters. Now note that we can cross cancel one of the centimeters so that the centimeters on the bottom or in the denominator disappear and there's one left in the numerator. And so our answer is 4 centimeters. Now let's look at the real magic, the conversion factors. We use conversion factors to help us with our unit analysis and to convert one form to another we can we can change meters to feet we can change miles back to kilometers by using a few simple conversion factors now when you're working with me I only allow conversion factors that are defined if it's been um, developed or created by you that's not acceptable in class you can use it on your own but in class you can only use the conversion factors that are on your sheet so check the unit analysis handout look at those conversions and start learning those conversions. You can also get a copy of those conversions at mrkazi.com. Click on the chemistry, go look at the, the menu on the right hand side, find unit analysis and you can get the PDF handout. All right. Conversion factors are ratios or this per that problems. So ratios are uh, factors and they're this per that. Like feet per inches. One foot equals 12 inch or per 12 inches. So we want to kind of remember the this per that. Ratio is a mathematical comparison of two quantities like A to B, A to B, or A to B. And notice that's the this per that. An example, one dollars four quarters. The ratio one dollar over four quarters and that's the this per that we could also say four quarters per one dollar and that's our this per that so let's look at some conversions that are along this line some things we need to know one inch is 2.54 centimeters and that's our this per that one pound equals 454 grams. Now you might find later on that that's actually 453.6 grams, but for our lab experiences, uh, 454 grams will be sufficient. And there's our this per that. One liter equals 1.06 quarts. You also will find that that's 1.057 quarts, but for our purposes, this will be uh, sufficient. And there's our this per that. And of course, we could flip those over, and it would still be a viable or true uh, statement. 
one foot per 12 inches, one yard equals three feet. So there, sorry, this per that on that one. One minute per 60 seconds. And that's our this per that. Now I'm showing you these. These aren't all the conversions. You have many more conversions that are on your uh, conversion sheet. But there's, and there's also several conversions that I just expect you to know. Um, you need to know that uh, four quarts is a gallon. Two pints is a quart. Two cups is a pint and eight ounces is a cup. Those are things that you're supposed to already know. One mile is 5,280 feet. And I hope you uh, got all those. If you didn't, you can go back and uh, re-listen to all this. But also, let's look at some practice now using uh, a conversion. How many quarters in $4.5? Well, let's start with $4.5. Whenever you're doing a this per that problem, or conversion, you want to go right up and write what you know, the part that's going to be converted. Write it down and write a multiplication sign. Then think about your conversions. What's my conversion going to be here? Well, most of you know that there is one dollar for four quarters and four quarters for one dollar. So let's look at our choices. Both those this per that's are correct, but let's use this one. How many quarters in $4.5? Well, let's set it up. Cross out the dollars, and we have quarters, exactly what we wanted. 4.5 times 4 quarters is 18 quarters. Easy this per that problem. Now, I guarantee you, all the problems that we're going to do, all of this per that problems that we're going to do, are just as easy as what we just did. They'll seem hard, but they truly are uh, just that easy. Questions? If you want, check out um, www.mrkazi.com for more information and a list of the conversions. And you can email me anytime at mrkazi at mrkazi.com with your questions for help.